Hey, what's going on, guys? How are all you doing? Welcome to a new video tutorial on the series of learning Electrons API and, and making desktop applications using web technologies. We are in the uh, in the fourth one actually. So if you haven't watched the last one, make sure to go ahead and watch. So today's one, we're gonna talk about the menu item. So the menu uh, appears when you just open up your application. Up here, as you can see, this Visual Studio Code menu. This is the menu we are going to target in here. So how to, you can customize it and add it your own functionality in here. So like whenever you click your custom label in here, you, you do some cu custom functionality or let's say you want to like open file and we create a new file you you do some kind of open a new project or something this is how you can customize it and electrons offer us a very very simple and easy to use api right out of the box so if we go to the documentation in here uh, as you can see electron.js documentation api menu so we are targeting the menu documentation there's like a plenty of uh, methods in here kind of confusing for the first time but very easy to use like set the menu application and to create the menu application we need to build this so build from template and actually to build from template we need to create the template and template actually it's just an array of objects and that object represents the um the the main one so i don't know let me just close this one so the objects so this one is going to be a label and whenever you click on it you're going to get a sub menu and an array of objects each one in here represents an object so all of those are objects and actually the array of objects template is so you're just going to refer or create all of these kind of objects in order to get a full menu so we have built from template and scroll all the way down we find like an example template in here const one just have a role indo and redo and those roles like endo redo are predefined roles under the electrons api so when you just say row redo or separator or cut or copy you're not gonna re-implement the functionality of this just row and the functionality is gonna be there for you without any further ado just gonna be there there and also a lot of things like force reload toggle dev tools separator reset zoom things like this but like custom functionality is neat from you to create a function on click and stuff and added your custom functionality to that and actually it's very simple just build from template then set the menu template out there in a very very easy way also there's the context menu whenever so we, like, we right click in here like get right this click really here. nice menu we can place, also customize this, this menu to, to your own menu to add your own functionality it's very simple like like this i've gone and set up a function for this as you can see in into the main.js we find a function set up main menu and we we find a template in here so what the template actually does so we have the templates and it's array of objects as, as I've said as you can see it's array and like each object represents a node each node in here so we, we put a label as you can see file label and a sub menu so whenever you click on it you see a sub menu in here so this is sub menu we want to edit and this sub menu also is going to have a couple of objects in there so a label new projects role new and here you can just add another one like click and enter that click function you probably gonna um, add your own functionality so this is gonna be a call callback whenever you click on that node you're gonna get this callback and a lot of other things and like role save and other sub menu for other ones as simple as that's gonna be doing as I've said label just put the label or name of that like node menu or menu item and the side menu whenever you click on it then you put use the menu modular so that we have required it up here so as i've said menu electron menu a built-in mo module under the electrons api so menu and build from template and then we pass in our templates in here then lastly we set the application's default menus just set application menu and pass in the built menu as simple as that after calling the function into the create window because very simple when we create a window we want to set up the menu in here so as easy as this we will do it like this so now running the application npm run starts we should see like not the default menu but customized one with our things in there so as i've said yes a three nodes modules as we are defining in here three ones in here and actually for for that we get the when we click file we get new projects and the edit and undo and also uh, when you click like cats let's say i want to electrons thing in here 
and maybe copy and try to paste it down here in the editor like a comment and boom we get the electron app so simple as this you can copy it as i've said those are predefined functionalities and also you can tell the developer tools and you can customize things as simple as that you can do the menu but what about the context menu so when we click we are not seeing anything right clicking right clicking nothing at all but what we want is when we right click we get a context menu that shows up and we want to like I don't know custom functionalities and stuff like this to, to our own application so the, for that we can do it on the render process so we go to the render process and we use the re remote modular so that's menu equals remote dot menu and also we need the menu item so the menu item represents each item in here or item in here whatever so let's also require this menu item equals remote dot menu item as simple as this we will get the menu item so here for that we need to list in for event and that event is the right click event so also there's like a built-in event into the document so we put document or we put actually window so window dot add event listener add event listener so add event listener and that event is context menu so whenever we right click we we will just hit or trigger this event and then we're gonna get or pass in the callback in here so the callback is gonna pop up a new context menu so for that this is documentation so you can check plenty of like plenty of a lot of sorry a lot of methods so there is an example of, of on how to do it on the render menu after requiring stuff and you initialize a new menu then you append to it a new item each time so each time you append a new to it's a new item and into the the like context menu we do pop menu dot pop up and we use the current window so the current window represents the window has the the one has received the click so that's how we know which window has received the click using remote get current window symbols that that will show us the context menu on our application so let's go ahead and do this right now so here set up the menu itself so we need to initialize new menu let's say menu equals new menu and here we initializing it and for the new menu dot add so append because this is like an array thing and here we add the new menu item so we say menu item and we put the options as simple as that like the same options that we put in here like the label the sub menu stuff like this so here like when we're passing it in here as you can see we pass in an object and it represents a node like in each menu item so let's go back go back to the render process and here we're passing let's say there's gonna be a label uh hello world and like whenever we click that as you can see if you go back you get a clicking event and it's kind of function so whenever you click it you get this back so we want like when we click that we get hello world printed to the console so console dot log hello world so this is like how we append things you can also append like multiple menus append new menu item and i don't know like i or, or return and like when we click you do the functionality thing in here but we have no functionality so as simple as this you can do it but we will just use one menu for now and now for the event list you know we need to menu pop up so we use menu dot pop up and we tell it which window we want to show that menu on for that we use the remote dot get current window and that gonna return our the window has received the click so here and also we have an event in here so use events dot prevent default so like whenever you click a form or something you not you're not gonna submit the form So yeah, here that should do the job for us. Now refresh and one mention before ending that video is like whenever you edit your main.js, 
make sure to restart the whole application because the main.js is the main process and that starts like the process, the main process who starts the window. So you can't just refresh the window, but for the render, you just can control R and refresh the window and it, the change is going to apply, but not the same for the main.js. So make sure to restart your application for changes to take effects. And here, okay, we're not getting anything actually. So for some reason, actually, the uh, window wasn't working. So the window objects wasn't actually working. It wasn't recognizing the event list. I don't know why it was that, but I've changed it to the document and it's now working fine. Now just reload and right click and boom, you get your context menu. So menu item and menu item also to toggle like this is like a radio button. As you can see by type in, type checkbox and detect true, you can set up plenty plenty of things in here just by reading the documentation give you a lot of options out there just so this was just a very very basic setup and very basic showcase on how to use the context menu and also the main menu how and how to customize it for your own users so that was really simple actually guys i, I the video has finished actually so thank you guys for watching i really really hope you enjoy that was it. I will catch you in the next one where we are going to actually build our application and like packages, then push it through. So I will catch you in the next one.